This is part two of joint series. You might want to watch the part one first if you are not familiar with the basics of the joint feature. In this episode, I'm going to introduce something called filtering joint. This type of joint doesn't bring the columns from the target data frame. Instead, it uses the target data frame's data to filter the data in the current data frame. There are two types of in this type of joint. They are semi-joint and anti-joint. The semi-joint is to keep only the rows in the current data frame that have the matching value in the target data frame. Here we have the current data frame that is colored by green with the airline carrier code and the departure delay time columns. And we have the target data frame that is colored by blue with the airline carrier code and the name columns. If we use the semi-join, we'll end up having the current data frame with only AA and UA rows because those airline carriers exist in the target data frame. The opposite is anti-join, which is to keep only the rows in the current data frame that doesn't have matching value in the target data frame. If we use the anti-join with this example, we'll end up having the current data frame with only the carrier AB rows because that's the only carriers that doesn't exist in the target data frame. Let's take a look at that example. This is US flight delay data, and there are so many departure cities in this data. Let's say we wanna see the flight data only for the top 10 most frequently used departure cities. I have already created the branch data frame with top N operation to keep only the top 10 most frequently used departure city names. I'm going to use this data to filter the original flight data. Go back to the main data frame and select join from the column header menu of the departure city column. Select semi join type, select the branch data frame that has the top 10 city names, then make sure city column is used as a key columns to join the two data frames. Click the run button. Now let's check if the data is filtered accordingly by going to the summary view. Here we can see that the departure city column has only 10 unique values where it used to have 296 values before this filtering join operation. We use the semi-join this time, but if we use the anti-join, then we would get the data with all the departure cities except for those top 10 cities.